manifest a crossover at all in terms of what your yes. role might be in that? Um, it was amazing. It was great because it finished on Legends again this year, which is great. So we had all the fun scenes. Um, just bigger, way bigger than last year. I remember there was one scene where there's 25 superheroes lined up sort of on the bridge and we were just like everyone in full costume and again, like battles with all of us. So it's very cohesive. You really feel the scale of it this year. Um, and this year, what I think they did beautifully is there's lots of personal relationships woven into it as well. So it's not just one big fight. You also get to know certain characters a lot deeper, um, and there's some love in it, and there's some loss in it, and so it's a very emotional journey, as well as sort of spectacular. Are there any particular interactions with characters from the other shows that you think that, my, like, that were interesting to you or super fun to yeah. sort of see? I, didn't, I remember I had some great times with Killer Frost, which was awesome. Um, that's a character that I want to know more about, more about her backstory. Um, and again, a kind of anti-hero. So I think Maya, the more people like this she meets, the more she actually learns from them and sort of expands her understanding and relaxes a bit and just enjoys being a superhero as well as sort of having to save the world every day. When you look at the other shows, do you sometimes see characters who kind of filter in and out of those or like a Wally or a Killer Frost and go, we could steal them someday? We could steal everyone. I think that's <laughs> the great thing is whoever joins Legends, like the weirder, the better, the least of a fit, the better, because it just changes the whole energy of the dynamic. I think Zari is a perfect example of that. She really shakes the energy up in a really positive way. And like when um, Amaya joined and um, Nate joined, I think the same thing happened. So I think, yeah, that's the beauty of having a team is that, you know, you take one piece away, you add one, and the whole thing shifts. I just wish more people would sort of give, especially Legends, because it's not coming from such a well-known title like The Flash or Supergirl, so they give us a chance, because I think we have a really diverse, interesting, anti-superhero, superhero gang in a way. Um, you know, I've got our female captain, and everything kind of filters down from there. And it's actually the guys who are normally the ones messing up the missions, not the girls, and we're having to fix some mistakes. Um, I think it's also something that CW does really well as a whole, and we've started this thing called Sheathority among the girls from the different shows, which is like a female empowerment space, where we want the fans to join us or we just discuss like female issues, and so I think it's something which is really sort of dear to all of our hearts, and which we want to really explore in every way that we can, and bring to panels at conventions, and just really sort of spread that. Um, what did you think of the Wonder Woman shout out at the end of the next episode? I think I'm it's scared. awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think I, that's what I love about like the comic book world is when you can sort of tap into different sort of worlds and like Constantine, which is going to be fantastic as well, um, and just sort of mixing up. You know, we saw Wally West at, the, at our first episode, and so it's just really playful to be able to sort of jump around. And I think Wonder Woman has paved the way brilliantly, proving that female-focused movies and TV shows can be a huge success. So I think that was a really sort of affectionate shout out. I like that.